Today we're going to see what we can do with this K-Pro Did I say that right? K-Pro Panther Which is a President uh, Randy 2 It even says Randy 2 all over the instructions Anyway We've um, wafted it about before and we've also had a play with it and it sounds absolutely great and it's one of the few CB hand portables that actually feels like a business radio we've got the Midland 48 but it's more of a ham radio or a good quality CB radio but this feels like a business radio and as somebody who's business radio dealing this is my kind of thing is it going to be one of those menu radios or is it going to have something inside that we can twiddle one of the other things we're going to need to do is we're going to have to find a TNC connector because that is a TNC and I'm going to have to pause the video and see where we can raid one from so with a bit of an adapter tree which is far from ideal I really ought to put the other camera on so you can see what I have found. So we are on low power and without looking in the instruction but what that's supposed to be, we're on the 3 watt range on the test set so 3 watts would be full scale so 1.5 watts is halfway. So we'll press transmit and it's 1.5 watts. So we'll go to high power, which allegedly is 4 watts. It's running off the fully charged battery. So we'll now switch to the 30 watt scale. So full scale deflection is 30 watts. And so therefore, 10 watts, 5 watts. So 4 watts is just there. And it's just doing over 4 watts. So let's see where deviation is. I'll go back to low power and save battery power. About one and a half like you tend to find. It should be 2.2. And the receive I don't know if we can... Can we plug this into the test set? You know what? It's got a 3.5mm socket by the looks of it under there. So I'm, I'm looking at the cyanide meter and I'm getting... 0.28 for 12 decibels cyanide, 0.28 microvolts, and for 10 decibels cyanide, I'm getting 0.69 of a microvolt. I'm not saying that now, I'm getting 0.22. So for 10 decibels cyanide, 0.22 of a microvolt, and for 12 decibels cyanide, 0.27 of a microvolt. So, apart from the deviation, that's jolly good. So we'd better open it up and see whether there's an internal adjustment for that, or whether it's a hunt the menu type of radio. So, having taken the appropriate screws out, we can detach the speaker and the microphone. 
do need to take the screw out of the side, you need to take the knob off. And we're greeted with the top side of the printed circuit board. Can't see any adjustments there. Hmm. Well, they wouldn't do it on the other side because you wouldn't be able to get to it. So I expect it's one of these menu sets. It also says in the on the board version six twenty eighteen oh nine fourteen. Now I think it'll be foolhardy to try and take that down any further. There won't be any presets on the other side of the board, it'll just the way the output devices heat sink to the um, aluminium cast casing. Well, I've looked high and low for a service menu and I can't find one. But what I can find is the word TX Mod just there on the printed circuit board. And it makes me wonder whether the resistors, one or more of those resistors, is selected at the factory upon test for the deviation that they want. So there you go. So until I see either a service manual or someone else comes up with some uh, clever menu that I can't find then all this can really be is a show and tell and just for you think I'm not brave enough to go any further into this we've taken the printed circuit board away from the chassis so we've now got the top side and the bottom side so anything holding it now is the battery connections so we can see there's an output transistor we can see Looks like a ceramic filter, crystal filter for 10.695, the 10.24 master oscillator down there, the output filter network there. So, if you remember, it said FM mod around there, which I'm suggesting is a select on test component and there isn't anything corresponding to get at. So I'm absolutely qu quite clear there are no adjustments whatsoever internally. So it's either select on test or it's a hidden menu that I've been unable to find. Or of course it's programmed with a PC at factory level. So there you are, we can't go deeper than that into it. Now all we need to do is put it back together. Okay, so back with it together again. What we have, as I said, we've got good receive, and I've just popped the squelch down on the menu to select the uh, country you're in. It switch on with the function key pressed, which is just there, and then up down to select the menu you want, and then the country you're at, that you want. I mean, and then F to lock that in. Switch it off. Switch it back on again. There's a master reset, which I may as well show you. Switch it off. Function key AF. That camera doesn't need to be as zoomed in as it is. Switch it on. Oh, 
Well, that didn't work. Or was it both together and switch on? Wait 10 seconds and we'll reset to EU. So that's master reset. Uh, so now, we need, well now we're in EU if I switch on. So we want it to be in UK. So function button and switch on with the function button. We're now in EU, we can toggle around the various available ones, press the function button again, that locks it in, switch it off, switch it back on again, and Bob's your uncle. And I'll now go back to channel 20 where our signal generator, oops, that is Roger Bleep, I've inadvertently switched on for a long press. It doesn't, it doesn't scan up the channels, it's a matter of, of going up them like that. So there we have our signal generator. And you'll notice that we've got a, a bar graph display on this. So if I go to S9 on the thing, we now have a full bar of, in fact, if we put the, uh, oh, it does channel display, does it? No, that's dual watch. What I'm trying to do is to put on the, uh, Yeah, the, the uh, light. There we are. We've got the, the light on. There's quite a comprehensive instruction book with it, and you need it. Lots of hidden menus and the squelch. You've got a monitor button, so we take the signal generator off, and it goes into squelch. We've got a monitor button, which is the bottom one, to override the squelch. If we go into menu... Uh, squelch setting SL is squelch setting one. If we tog toggle up those menus, we've got power save off. I'm using the function to go up the menus. We've got Roger Bleep on. Well, I don't want the Roger Bleep, so Roger Bleep off. Go up the menu and we're back to squelch level. So I could adjust that. And we'll go to squelch one and we'll see where that actually is. So I'll go out of that feature by pressing transmit. So let's see where the squelch is now. So I'll switch the signal generator on and it's straight in at 0.3 of a microvolt. So that suits me. Because if you're using this as a base station, you might want to squelch up a bit. But uh, as a handheld, there you are. Uh, what else can I tell you? On transmit, bring that camera back. On transmit, we've got a full four watts. That's just over. And we can reduce that with high low power we're now on low power transmit now low scale one and a half watts supposed to be one watt pt so we go from when we're in uk mode we're on it says fm if we press the function button it'll tell us the frequency or the first couple of digits of it, so 2779, which is what we expect, 79125, and then if we flick it to um, the other thing, it's going on to CPT, it says AM, it is FM, absolutely verified it is FM, it's transmitting and receiving FM, and the frequency is 27205, which is what we'd expect it to do. So if you wanted it to go into a, you'd then have to program it for 
Is it EU or EC or something like that? Is, you'd have to program it for EU. So, although it's a 2019 model, it's clumsy. Anyway, test so far shows it works very well. I'll do it on the air test with this, and then another day we'll send Mr. Chippy out um, to actually use it, and I'll get him to wear the body cam. We've got a bit of backlog, backlog of repa uh, repairs, the backlog of uh, testing walkie talkies. We did that old duet thing from 1981, um, which didn't impress me that much. But this is really nice, it's got uh, scan as well. So it is 4 watts. It's doing a little bit over it's three watts on am it's one and a half watts it's supposed to be one watt on low power and it comes with it lithium a lithium battery and the charger and um, there you go and allegedly this is the same as the uh, president randy 2 now i've seen inside the pic i've seen a photograph when i was searching for information on this on the net. I saw a photograph of the inside of what was supposed to be a Randy 2 and that did have a deviation preset in that corner where it said FM. So that was a 2012 version because it said so on the printed circuit boards. So there we are. We're just a bit of a loss. Is, is how the matter is. is. Is it selected on test at the factory? Is there a hidden menu that I can't find? Or is it programmed at the factory with a PC for the final setup of parameters? So we'll do it on the air test with this, like we usually do. Send Chippy out to uh, six miles the wrong side of uh, the hill, and I'll sit here and see whether we can receive him. So there you are, Capo Panther. Thank you very much for watching.